Hello there and welcome back to another Let's Play by me, Dutch Power Creations. I'm playing another part of Rise of the Rune Lords. It's a Let's Play I'm doing. I've come pretty far, for, at least for my feelings. So uh, let's continue. So I killed everything in this uh, dungeon uh, and I think I can continue now to... Uh, yeah, that's the same thing as last time. Continue now to the to the ghost. Let's see, I'm fully healed, right? Yeah. Let's let's uh, buff me up with the bar skin. Uh. There you go. All right, let's do this ghost thingy. What manner of creature is this? Be careful, Glorian. That is a shadow, a minor incorporeal undead. Because it has no form, melee and range damage will have no effect. We need to use magical or elemental damage to harm them. My sword may not be able to harm them, but my healing should be able to do something. I feel like I feel like. I feel like, I think uh, that's misspelled, uh, Pharaoh should harm them as well. Would be better, I feel like my fire arrow should... Uh, I'll bet if I use a pure light potion that should do the trick too. I don't have anything that does multiple targets, I think. So yeah, let's just see what are we to flame. Yep, flame is what are we to cure serious. There you go. That was pretty easy. Ring of Resist. I do think I got everyone equipped, right? Yeah. What does it resist? What does it resist? Let's see that first. Um, Ring of Resist. There you go. A ring decorated with self protects against ice. Only ice, so no. Oh, that's ice resist. I thought I found something that this ring a shield sized wall for shape like this. Here. Okay. So more ghost. I didn't see uh Ooh. I wanna and get him from behind so I can see if I can steal something from him. her turn next so uh, full defense and then you're not the one that can steal right or you can just 10 GP so that's not really worth it let's burn him up how much XP does they give and gold also not that much so ring of uh, resist was found Let's go deeper. Is this the only thing I can... Oh, it's a monster. A giant hermit crab, fortify. Alright. Try to knock it down, let's see. Let's 
Let's get its defense down again. What do you got? 50 GP, that's not much. What? Oh, that's, that's a bit of shame. I'm just gonna defend with her for now. See if I can poison touch it. Yeah, it's poison. And get its defense down further. Well, that's pretty okay damage. Nothing wrong about that. Let's see what it's weak to deal with light to one enemy. I think uh, uh, something in the water may be weak to ice. Yeah. Same for her. Uh, it's already poisoned. Let's. Uh, yeah, what should I do with it? Let's silence it. Before it does anything uh, strong. Let's get its armor down further. Uh, I missed. Yeah, I got it uh, tripped. Defense down. Let's just attack it right now. Oh, there you go, it's not that strong. I thought it was something like a mini boss, but Helm of Fortune. Let's see if I can quick crit that on someone. Um, equipment. A helm. HP goes down a little, defense goes up, and critical protection goes up. Sure. Someone needs something. Uh, wait, she has a banana. Oh, I had a banana. Bandana. Bam, 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 bam. So that wasn't really doing something. It was just something I could fight here, I guess seem like I see a way I can continue just press spamming the, the action button to see if something is interactable here but nothing seems to be interacting sure um, yeah all right there wasn't anything here anymore right kill everything here Gotta check my uh, my uh, quest log now then. Adventure log completed. Active. I have zero active. These all completed. So maybe when I leave the place, she isn't here anymore. Nothing is here, right? No, she is here. Only she uh, died. Uh, I'm just checking if I don't... Ah, there's a cutscene here. The group returned to Sandpoint, where they were welcomed as heroes. The goblin menace facing Sandpoint was most easily dealt with upon defeating Nualia. So they killed the goblins without 
too much of a resistance because I killed their ringleaders. With her out of the picture, the surviving goblins quickly fell to bickering among themselves. Again, I would say, because if I say it correctly, they already, already didn't like each other that much. Without Malfeshesnekor's dark influence and the nothing left and uh, the uh, should be scrapped there, and nothing left to tie them to the Thessalian runes, the Thistletop tribe fell apart in a matter of weeks. With over half of the area's goblin heroes defeated, there were none able to lead two you're missing the word two to lead all five tribes and the goblins uh, and then is there's a dot the goblins returned to being only a minor menace at the fringes of the wildlands all in all our heroes were given a chance to take a well-deserved rest and relax in some point they continued to stay with amico in the rusty dragon living up their well-earned fame as local celebrities Celebrities. I don't think that's spelled correctly. Correctly, but the celebrations do didn't last for long. Do not. Seems weird to say. Or you're gonna show me that it's gonna happen right now. Save game. The box should be in the middle. Or I think. Yes, sure. <laughs> Saved it. Chapter two. The skin saw murders. Isn't that the girl that was flirting with uh, the guy? Oh, there's another one of those crabs. Ouch. Oh, it isn't a crab because it can laugh. Hmm, another horrific scene, just like the last one. This isn't goblins or miscreants. This is something else. We're out of our depth here. Fix. Secure the perimeter. Wedge. Go speak to Amico. I'll fetch the other tree first thing in the morning. And then this sound. Mwah. I don't know. The transitions in your game are really uh, a shame. Because I can see the, the transitioning lightning. Pardon my intrusion, I know it's early, but this is a most unusual circumstance. Sheriff Hemlock, what's going on? First, let me thank you again for all you've done for Sandpoint. It's fortunate you've proven yourself so capable, because we have a problem I think you can help us with. A problem I wish I didn't have to involve anyone with, but on that needs, but one that needs dealing with now, before the situation grows worse. Please, come in. Take a seat. Put simply, we have a murderer in our midst, one who, I fear, has only begun his work. I'm sure you've heard of the late unpleasantness, how this town nearly tore itself apart in fear as Chopper's slayings went on unanswered. I'm afraid we might have something similar brewing now. Last night, the murderer struck at Sawmill. There are two victims, and they're, they're in pretty gruesome shape. The bodies were discovered by one of the mill workers, a man named Ibor Thorn. And by the time my men and I arrived on the scene, a crowd of curious gawkers had already sprung up. I've got my men stationed there now, keeping the mill locked down, but the thing that bothers me isn't the fact that we have two dead bodies inside. It's the fact that this is actually the second set of murders we've had in the last few days. I come to you to help for help in this matter. matter. My men are good, but they are also green. They were barely able to handle themselves against the goblins, and what we're facing now is an evil far worse than goblins. I need your help. Someone we both care about may be in danger. This note was found on the scene. It's addressed to Amico. You will learn to love me, desire me in time as she did. Give yourself to the pack, and it shall all end. Your Lordship. Received clue one. This... It's not good. 
This note was found pinned to the sleeve of one of the victims with a splinter of wood. I feel it was left there perhaps to throw suspicion onto you or her. And while I certainly don't believe any of you had anything to do with this, I fear that if word of this note got out, the town's reactions may not be so understanding. Being that I'd like to avoid the general panic, I'd prefer if you kept the details of this investigation between you and I. Understood. Where did these murders occur? The first murders were two days ago. A patrol of guards were assaulted near an abandoned barn south of town. The assailant was obviously sick and insane. His flesh feathered, eyes wild, mouth frothing, and clothes caked with blood. Caked? Can you say our, that clothes are caked with blood? Splattered with blood? Maybe? The guards subdued him, but when they checked inside the barn, they discovered the mutilated bodies of three men. The second murders were at the sawmill in town. The victims are, are the overnight mill worker ben, Benny Harker and Catherine Vinder, youngest daughter of Van Vinder, proprietor of the local general store. Yeah, I thought it was her. The slut. There's a good deal of evidence at the scene of the crime. Please come with me. First she tries to get me, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Noble there with the orange hair. I don't know his name right now. How bad of me. I officially de deputized a lot of you until a time that we can put this case to rest. Please take your time and look around. Come speak with me once you feel you're done investigating. All right, so here's next. There's a wood cutter has emblem in floor. The handle is covered in bloody finger marks. She must have picked it up to defend herself, but he knocked it away from her. The chunks of flesh on the blade are rotten, and can you smell that? Indeed, it smells terrible, like a dead animal that's been baking in the sun, but worse. Dead animals don't smell that bad normally. We used to leave dead rabbits out in the sun to make jerky in my village. Correct, it's beyond what our dead body could normally produce. The axe was likely used against some form of corporeal undead. Blood. So much blood. So much blood. Warning, do not stick hands, legs or other body parts on conveyor belt while the sawmill is in operation may result in bodily harm. Bloody footprints are concentrated here. They seem erratic. There was a struggle. These footprints, they're blood. He must have been killed first, then the killer chased Catherine. But what were the two of them doing all the way back here? Yeah, you do want to know, huh? Uh huh, 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 huh. This closet mostly contains old uniform, but there's also a woman's dress in here. Falker tree. A most disturbing scene. The nervous, what do you make of this? His body is covered in small, in small slashes, likely from a claw or knife. It's difficult to tell. The run across his throat was the killing blow. The mark covered into his chest. It looked familiar. Indeed, allow me to copy it. There you go. Do you recognize it now? That's the s Whoa, his eyes aren't matching right now. Not not with the color or something, but just with 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 his no, his eye look how his eyes look. This isn't his his eyes. That's the same symbol from the necklace Nualia was wearing. Indeed, it is called the Shehedron Room, an antique glyph that symbolized arcane magic once practiced in ancient Tassilum. So what does it mean here? I'm unsure. To my knowledge, it was merely a symbol more akin to heraldry than to actual magic. Perhaps it is a warning, one of Nualia's minions, out, of, out for revenge? It seems possible, but I'd rather check to be sure. Broded Queen, the town shade is s much more knowledgeable about the meaning of runes than I am. He may be of assistance in determining the meaning of this. We'd best keep this parchment on hand. It could be a useful clue. Alright. Don't see much here. An elixir in the clock. Poor Catherine, she must have fallen on. Yeah, you you think it's poor, huh? You you nasty old bastard. 
You're gonna... You wanna... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say it. She must have fallen onto the conveyor belt and gone through the log splitter. The only mercy is that she did not suffer. Her death was instant. I make this vow to you, Honorable Van Vinder, by brightest day and by darkest night, that I shall not rest until I find the one behind this and bring your sister's murderer to justice. Don't go spitting oats. Muddy food and start here. Whoever did this swam in through the back where the logs are floated in. I didn't notice before, but these tracks are fresh enough to make out those. Our sister is human, but was barefoot. Chase and her blood is splattered all over the conveyor belt, and the footprints head back. He didn't leave after killing her. She wasn't the target, Hawker was. You okay there? Huh? What? Yes, yep, I'm fine, just never seen anything like this before, it's my first murder scene. So do you guys remember me? Your, yeah, you were up on the wall during the goblin attack, Parkins, right? Oh wow, you remembered. Not a lot of people remember an everyday guard, but I guess that's what makes you guys heroes. I'm sure glad you guys were there for the goblin attack and for bringing down all those mercenaries that were riling them up. The sheriff has faith in you and so do I. Thank the gods we have you on the chase. Here, take this. I've spent the past year saving up saving up to buy it from Van Vinden, but I think it'll do you more good than me. Mist crystal, what do those do? Breaking this group creates a thin mist that will keep away an encounter. Are you finished investigating? Sure. There's one more lead I'd like to investigate. The first murders. Bodies are still in Bradley's barn, south of town, along the banks of Cougar Creek. One of them carried this parchment. Messrs. Mortwell, Itask, and Taaba. A deal has come about that I need capital for. It involves property and gold, and though I am not at liberty to tell you the exact details, it will make us all rich. Come to Bradley's barn and on Cougar Creek tonight. We can meet there to discuss our futures, your lordship. The note identifies the bodies as three notorious con men I'm unfortunately all too familiar with. I personally forbade the three from operating their con games in Sandpoint and wasn't particularly surprised to find them murdered. It was only a matter of time before they tried to swindle someone worse than them. After all... I wouldn't uh, set a comma there. Just uh, to swindle someone worse than, than them after all. Or just made the sentence different. But when I saw the note was signed by the same your lordship, I was convinced that there is something far worse than revenge food. The fourth man who was with them has been identified as, as one Grace Savilla, a local Verician Turk. He's been given over the care of Erin Habe, caretaker of an independent sanatorium further south of town from the barn. Christ a bit of his rocker. So I wouldn't accept mu expect much, but I would like you to check on both him and victim and the victims. The victims. My gut tells me there's more to the story. Sheriff Hemlock, right on cue. What's going on here? Lieutenant Wedge was all shaken up and in insisting I came see you immediately. Do you have any idea how early it is? I have breakfast to prepare. This better be good, Bellor. Otherwise, I'm sorry. She just ran in here. I didn't have time to. It's fine, Wedge. Amico, please come in. Dup, 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 dup. What? What happened here? Amico, there's no easy way to say this, so I must be direct. There has been a murder, and it appears the murder has some connection to you. But how? There's, please, note. Uh, oh. Oh my. I have no idea who this could be from. I know it's difficult, but I have some questions I need to ask you. There are more leads I believe you should follow. Fix is outside and can tell you more. It's also possible someone in town saw something. We're going to question the townsfolk to avoid giving any away any details of the investigation. Now please, let me speak to Amico alone for a moment. Alright. All right. 
right, so he's warning me that there could be things. New evidence. So uh, do, do they have better weapons now too, if that changes? Let's see. Doesn't seem so, on first glance. Yeah, it doesn't seem so. I don't mind though, but just checking. Chicken? No, checking. Skills. Oh wait, I'm missing. Uh, that woman just left my party again. That's a bit of a shame. This is my main party, luckily, but still. Uh, oh wait, I had a fifth member, but that one is gone. a lot of too much uh, investigation thingy for me all right like other one of some men was better for her to end up dead and thrown being the one who found him ain't nobody deserved it no matter how bad a boss he is Let's save it. The fall order coming from the Fox Lobe Rivers recently. I wonder if those brainstorm goblins have anything to do with this. They are much more crafty than the top tribe. From where did the smell come? I smell the odor coming from the Fox Lobe River. Alright. Is that the river to the left? Here. Hmm. Hmm. Scarnetti mission. Scram. All right. Can go there. Uh, to the old dude. That has some clues. I know there's an old dude somewhere around here. Taking that house. Yeah. I think it's him. Oh, hello, I can help you folks. Good day, Miss Quinn. I believe we've spoken before about our, our sanitizers. Oh, yes, now as you can see again here, did you still have some film again? We were hoping that you could help us understand something. What can you tell us about this? That's a hidden rune. Is that bl bl blood? Yes, it is. This symbol was carved into the chest of a murder victim. My understanding of this rune is that it was form of Heraldry doesn't make much sense to be used in what appears to be a ritual of sorts. Well, it is possible. The Sahiran is not just any mere symbol. How do you mean? Well, what do we know about ancient Tesselon? Concretely, not much. Unfortunately, most of the lore about ancient Tesselon has been lost to time. What does remain has been gathered from barely legible carvings on the surviving monuments or extracted from the myths and oral traditions of Pharisian seers and storytellers. But what do we know specifically? What is known is that it was a vast empire ruled by powerful wizards. The sheer size of the monuments they left behind testifies to their power and the unnaturally way they have resisted erosion and the march of time testifies to their skill at magic. The exact time period for the height of the empire's power was around 3000 or 4000 years ago. We were starting to see evidence that it was much older. I suspect that it fell no sooner than 10,000 years ago. Iridium and Malfashion would agree with you. Who? A quasit and Bargus we encountered, but had been trapped in their respective ruins since the Empire fell. Fascinating, so if you met extra subjects of the Empire, were they able to tell you anything else? Unfortunately not. They were too busy trying to kill us. I see, how unfortunate. So why test my knowledge? What does this have to do with the Sahedron? Oh yes, that. What I'm about to tell you is a vague theory based on conjecture, but what I can tell you a few things of interest about the, about 
the star, I guess. Namely, that it is, seems to be one of the most important runes in Tesselum. The Syrian rune was a powerful and important symbol, carrying with it many meanings. Each point of star contains a smaller rune, each one signifying two different things, the seven virtues of Ru and the seven schools of magic. However, the leaders of Tesselum, powerful mages called rune lords, were far from virtuous. Each one was a master of one of the schools of magic and was meant to represent the virtue aligned with that school. The Syrian rune was certainly a symbol of power, one that may have well stood for an for and symbolized the empire itself. It will not be surprised if one or more of the rune lords found a way to utilize its power toward their own nefarious means. Of course, the fact that the killer carved it into the flesh of his victim might point that to the fact that the murderer is some sort of schooler. Not that I'm saying I had anything to do with this. I'm, mm, I am most definitely innocent. I have an al alibi and everything. Are you sure about that, Mr. Quink? Yes, yes I am. If anything, the last time we experienced a serial killer on the loose it was Jervis Toot, a local eccentric. He was stopped by the previous sheriff and found dead in the case beneath his home on the rock in the bay, just west of the glassworks. It's possible his spirit has returned to wreak havoc and get revenge, and that killers are the most difficult to deal with. They also say that the Sandboy Devil can control the undead in the area from its home in the Devil's Plateau to the southeast. The beast has been sighted more frequently as of late. Now I killed it. Now, unless there's anything else I have a matter I must attend to, I have some books in the back library that you can use for more information on the schools of magic, the seven virtues of rule and seven deadly sins, and on the Sandboy Devil if you like, but I'm already late and must be going. Hmm, how suspicious that exchange was most odd. What do you mean? Did you see how quickly he needed to leave after implicating himself? He's hiding something. Or it could have been an innocent slip of the tongue. Yeah, Brodet has lived here in town for years. Sure he is a little eccentric at times, but he's also incredibly kind. But he did so right after extolling all his knowledge of the rune and its meaning. It's like he's playing some game, trying to stay on one step ahead of us. Or you're just jealous that someone knows more about ancient Tesselin than you do, so you're looking for a reason not to like him. What? Me? Jealous? Hardly. I could never be jealous of some elderly human. The novice does have a point, even if Bordet Quink is a kind is a kind and upstanding citizen, the fact still remains that there is a killer on the loose, and that we have no idea what it would could be. Perhaps it would be wise to n not limit our options by prematurely eliminated suspects. But he did have a good explanation for the smell. Maybe our killer is undead? We never told him about the smell. Yeah, you and Glorian are right. We should keep an eye on him. Meow. So I guess I can maybe go through here to get to there. I know there's a boat, but I don't seem to be able to use the boat. So maybe there's something here now. seem to be anything here now hm. all right uh, so let's go try to get w to west of the glass works that's here ah you can jump it like this all right rats i can think there's a lot of information here Just 
just for too much for me to f because I'm not into reading everything. A lot of stuff here. Sickle. An altar to some unknown deity. Someone went through a lot of work to destroy it. Just by some of the fragments, there appears to be a both womanly and canine parts to the statue. This must have been an altar to Lamastu. This leads, lead seems to be a dead end. There's nothing here. Alright, alright. I guess, I guess. So what else did we have? Bring the killer to justice. All right. So that's the main thing. Let's go south now. Wank bam. Yeah, but I can't walk properly here because I get lost. But I have. What was it again? Sunrod? This item has no effect here. It seems this. Gold tipped ironwork glows brightly when struck on a wall or floor, increase the light rays to for a limited time. It seems I can walk over this too, that that seems to be a gap, but I don't know about this area, it seems What is happening? Did I just get stuck? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm stuck. It's a bit of shame. Hmm. Where did I save? Ah, great. And though those random encounters are not cool. But that's the barn, right? Where I need to go. So if I get stuck there. Vin is in Bradley's barn. So let's see if that there is Bradley's barn and if it is then I can hit a dead spot there. Yeah, this is Bradley's barn. Yeah, so I guess uh, this is it. Try to go further down. Let's see what happens there. Then 
cross this bridge now I also can't cross this bridge so I need to go to all the that the poison stuff to get to the city in the south speak to the dude called mm -mm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but I can't investigate Bradley's barn, so I can go to speak to Grace and get more involved into this, and then get stuck in the Bradley's barn. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video here for the, this uh, game. I think uh, much needs to be done with the balancing, but. Overall, uh, I like the experience. I, I would say uh, it uh, it needs to be cleaned a little here and there, and uh, make it more uh, smooth to play. And all the other things I mentioned in the other uh, stuff, but all with all, this is a nice game. So good job with that. I liked it. So. Um, I get the symbol in the middle now and I guess the chapter thing divides the storyline a bit so you get uh, involved into a story then you cut the story then you make a new story and it all comes together in the end I, I get that but for me it was a little bit sad when chapter one ended that it felt like now I'm just gonna play a new thing in the same game like more like that feeling than there was really something new coming so yeah, but I guess that's how chapters work, uh, but yeah, all with all, nice game. I hope you uh, enjoyed my let's play of it. Um, my next game uh, will be Reverie or something, it's called something like that, of Reverie. Uh, it's a game uh, been that's been in development for a long time, it's finally going to beta, beta and I've been asked to test it. Uh, I need to work out if I can uh, stream it or uh, my beta testing or I can upload videos. If not, I'm not going to do it. But if so, then uh, yeah, that will be the next game. So uh, cheers for tuning in and uh, see you around next time.